okay, you've made the transaction, you sent out the survey, but why? What's the point? Why do we do this? Stay tuned here on the Six Figure Mastermind. We're gonna go through it. So what's the objective of a customer satisfaction survey? See if your customers are satisfied. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Tune in tomorrow. Just kidding. We're gonna go more in depth into it. But really, like, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I want to share with you how this information is really useful to you in, in growing your business, growing your customer loyalty, and growing your return rates. The better the survey, the better the results. And the more you'll know about your customers. Before you send out your survey, you probably have an idea of who your customers are, where they're coming from, how they found you. But you can save yourself some time and money if you've heard this system before, S-Y-S-T-E-M. Save yourself some time, energy, and money money. That's the system. If you find a system and you can make this customer satisfaction survey fall within the system, it's going to save you some time and money and it's going to save you some energy too. I think about this. If you've ever uh, studied math in college or maybe in high school, you learned about this symbol right here, the delta. The delta is a really cool symbol because the delta takes the total amount and distance between a negative and a positive. So think about this. If you've got a customer that's not satisfied. They're negative three dissatisfied, okay? When the potential is to be at a 10 satisfied. The delta of that is not negative three, not 10, but 13, okay? They're way over here, they're negative three when they could have opportunity to be way over here in positive 10. So the delta is 13. The reason I bring that up is that means there's 13 units worth of room for improvement. That's why people love the, the five-star rating system for feedback. You'll see it on Amazon all the time. You'll see it on eBay. You'll see it on most uh, e-commerce sites that they have that five-star system rating. And they also love you to leave comments on that feedback of why you left that feedback there. So out of a potential of zero to five, if your customer you know, is giving you negative rankings, it might be something to look at. And here we wanna find out why. We want raving fans. If there's anything I've learned about customer satisfaction in business, it's that if you've got 10% of your customers that are dissatisfied with their product, they are going to speak louder and longer and harsher than the praise of the other 90%. So a 10% customer dissatisfaction rating is not acceptable to me. I could handle between two and 5%. I, I could see that with, those could be anomalies. But if I've got anywhere 10% and above on customer dissatisfaction, that means I'm doing something wrong. That means I have somewhere to fix. I don't want just mediocre fans. I want fans who will rave and chat about me and, and spread my business through word of mouth because they had such a positive experience with me. That's what we call in the industry organic growth. I didn't have to spend any of my marketing do dollars to get that kind of publicity and that kind of coverage and that kind of free marketing, if you will. That's organic growth. That means someone found me by word of mouth of someone else. When you're constructing customer satisfaction surveys, include this in your survey. Ask how people found you. And then remember to include all of your marketing strategies that you're paying for and you're not paying for. So if you're paying for billboards, ask if they found you using the billboard. If you're paying for Facebook ads, ask if they found you through a Facebook ad. If you're using YouTube, ask if they found you through YouTube. Have a list of all those things. Ask if they found you through a friend or a family member. Ask if they found you through other word of mouth. Ask however it is that they found you. You want to know because that's where you're going to put your investing dollars. If you're in a business and you've got I don't know, 60% of your clients that are coming through word of mouth or through referral, you may want to feed that referral program, meaning you may want to give you a thank you check or a thank you bonus to some of your previous clients for sharing what you have to offer with people that they love. That means they love it so much that they're willing to recommend it. And what they recommend it means is that they were willing to put their name on it. Now, I don't know about you, but my name is the most valuable thing that I have as far as marketing. If I'm gonna put my good name on it, that means it's up to my standard. And my standard is a high standard. I have people on Facebook, I've got a seven filter system for accepting friends on Facebook. And I was sharing the system in a class I was teaching the other day. And I was sharing how I check the profile pictures and I check the banner photos. And as I was sharing that with someone, I got off stage and then my co-facilitator got up on stage and he said, you know what, I have 
one filter for accepting friends on Facebook. And I was like, whoa, I'm, I'm kind of curious as to what that is. Can you do everything that I do in seven filters and one filters? Because I would love that. I'm like, is it a software that you're using? What is it that you're using? And he said, you know what my one filter is? If I see Marianne as a friend of him on Facebook, then I can friend him too. And I was like, oh my gosh. Awesome. That's so cool. Uh, that's just word of mouth because it's got my name on it. That means I endorse it and other people are seeing that. If other people say in this example that I'm with friends with that person on Facebook, they know that my name and reputation means that I vetted it and I'm only okay with top quality. So if you've got people that are referring your product or business, that means they believe that their name could go on it too and people could trust them with it. So you know that your customers are your business. You want raving fans. You want organic growth. Now the bonus, the bonus is the thank you gift. Gratitude is one of the highest vibration energies that exists on this planet. And you don't give thank you gifts to get something back. That's just a natural consequence. Send thank you gifts just for the sake of saying thank you. Send thank you gifts and you can ask for referrals on the back of that, sure, but that will already be naturally happening if your product is selling itself. Send thank you gifts in the form of credits to your store. Send thank you gifts in the form of product. Send birthday cards. Get to know your clients and customers. It doesn't matter how big your organization gets. I love getting birthday cards from my kid's dentist. I mean, I think it's totally cool that the dentist does that. I actually get birthday calls and reminders from my life insurance agent. I actually, I felt bad about that once because I thought, oh, my life insurance agent is calling me again and reminding me of my mortality. So I actually asked him to stop because it felt weird for me. But I, I know this guy. I know him personally now. I didn't before. And it really feels good to feel like a valued customer. As an entrepreneur, you have constantly got to be putting yourself in the shoes of your client. Ask what good things you have about your business that are worth sharing. What makes your business unique? What makes it extraordinary? And then build upon that. And you've got that organic growth. And when you hear back on the surveys, take it to heart. Keep doing what's working, keep innovating, and keep bringing amazing clients to the table. So I hope you liked that video. I hope that you learned something new about customer satisfaction surveys and what you can do to increase that customer satisfaction in your business. If you have any questions or anything you wanna know more about, hit it up in the comments and let us know and we'll try to make a video for you. Otherwise, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you tomorrow.